Do you realize $113 of your tuition goes to funding the computers here on campus every semester? Students know little about how computer use is governed. I had no idea what we pay. I didn't even know that there was an allocation for the computers. Um, I didn't know if maybe that was something that was granted to the school in some way or funded through the state or something like that. Before the IT governance, a group called SCAC, the Student Computing Advisory Committee, delegated how much money each department got. The function of SCAC from my understanding was to make recommendations for funding proposals uh, that so departments would make uh, funding proposals and then SCAC would make recommendations to those uh, for those funding proposals to the CIO. Computers are paid for in the cost of your tuition and yet you are told when and how to use them. A lot of it boils down to facilities and staffing requirements. Generally I think that access to computing resources is limited by the facilities access so and there's security concerns there and again staffing um, it costs a lot of money to keep a building open and so I, I don't think that it's necessarily uh, computing resources are being restricted so much as uh, just the feasibility of, of keeping an operation running 24-7. Though computers are included in tuition printing is not. Last year the library recorded 632,000 logins and over 2 million visitors. If every person who visited the library printed just one page, the library would have made $100,000, and that's only if the visitor had a U-card. It's so important to have a student representative on these portfolios because you will narrow in on, this is the thing that keeps me from being able to hand in that paper. I gotta get it printed out. My class is in five minutes, you know, and now I have to spend, you know, five dollars or whatever it is. But that's a stumbling block for you. Um, and it, it's good for us to know that. So I'm, I'm always glad to hear from the students directly about what they need and it makes us go, hmm, let's reconsider what we're spending our money on and how we might be able to better help students. For more information about IT governance, go to cio.utah.edu. I'm Jessica Temper, reporting for Newsbreak.